Hey, how we doing everyone? This is Dario from Media Box, and today we're gonna go into the configuration of the T95M 4K TV box. If you guys want to see the open box, right now you're gonna see a link. So over here you can click on it. If not, it's gonna be in the description line, and you guys can see all the open box. If you guys want to see all the application, I got another video where I go deeply into the applications so right now in the top you guys click on it and we'll be in the description line so this is a three-part video so this one we're gonna go how to configure this box so this is the main screen of the T95 kind of nice here we can execute Cody nice they don't need to be here on the favors this one guys is to hit the favors out pretty easy you go on the you go on the plus like any other box you can click on it and we add if we don't like it, we click back and we remove it. Here is my music. Some of the applications automatically been installed there, even though it's Kodi there. You can put any application you like to be there. Okay? You don't need to be music. It can be anything you want. It's just a shortcut. Same thing like video online. So you can go here and you can put Kodi. Uh, let me see. You can even put Facebook if you like. Just a shortcut. It can be whatever you guys want to be. Okay. Applications. Again, if you guys want to see all the applications, I got another video where I explain all the applications. All right. And claim the memory. So you can hit this and claim the memory. Just like the phones. So let's go open the settings. First thing we're going to do, we're going to set the network. Make sure. Right now I'm connected to wireless. So make sure it's always on because I see pre people having problem connected because the wireless is off so make sure it's on if you guys going to connect to Ethernet there's no configuration needed just connect the cable you don't have to even click on this icon no worry about it just plug the network no need skip this you don't need to look into it display yes this is very important resolution as you see I got automatically by default the bug comes in auto switching I mean it knows the, the resolution of the TV mine does 1080 ah yes you see there but some old TVs or I know it needs to be all maybe two three years old they only will do 720 and what happened is some users say so 720 mm, uh, you know what oh I would like to do 1080 so and you go and click 1080 what's gonna happen now you box it's going to shoot the resolution 1080 and your TV is going to say, wow, what are you doing? I can't see, you know, I can't sync anymore. And then what are you going to get? You're going to get a nice, beautiful black screen with a set face around the middle. No, it's not set face in the middle. But you're going to have a blind screen. So what are you going to do now? How are you going to unsync it if you don't see the TV, if you see black? Well, to make the set story... You're going to have to go in your friend's house or somebody else's house. Knock, you, you can go in your neighbor, knock the door and say, can I use your TV for a minute? So you just go in your neighbor, bring your HDMI cable, plug it in. That if your neighbor has a, a, a 1080. And then now you can see the 1080 go back into the resolution. So you're going to go back into the screen resolution. And you're going to see it's 1080. And you just go and click 720. Okay, and then you'll be fine. Then you take the box, you say thank you to you, never, and you come back, plug it in your house, and you're back again into business. All right, so do not play around with this, leave it where it is. Let's put it back in automatically. Okay, screen position. Yes, we want to play with this a little bit. Let's pay attention here in the size. We're going to zoom in and zoom out. Okay, and make sure you check it, do that calibration once, and you don't need to do that anymore, only the first time, because sometimes some of the TVs it tend to be this zoom out of the screen. I mean, zoom in, it's mostly like this, and it looks all fine, but you're gonna miss the bottom part in some of the applications, okay? So, make sure you can find right there, that's it. See, 99 is kind of perfect. So, some of the screen is 97, depends on the TV, 
all right, we're going to play with this. We're not going to rotate. Only if you like to see your TV rotate and then you rotate your TV in different position. I don't know. Maybe you put it under the ceiling so you like to rotate it. So you can do that. If not, do not play. This, yes, leave it. This is not a foam. So we're not, we're not going to play with this either. Sound. Nothing to do. It's always on. Make sure it's on. It should be on by default. Digital sound. Normally, it's set in automatically, so do auto auto detection. Okay, it will auto detect if it's HDMI. If you want, you can go out and push it yourself out. Now, this is for digital output. This is for fiber optic. So, if you guys have fiber optic, then I didn't try this. I don't think this will detect it automatically because it's just a fiber optic and light coming out, and I think the box will don't know you're plugging something into there. So you just force it yourself out. Just plug it in and then you just connect it to your stereo system. Because most of the older sounds will go through there to the TV. But if you got a, a 5.1 stereo system, then some of the old ones do not take H H an HDMI cable. So you have to go through a digital, fire it up to your stereo and HDMI straight to your TV. Okay. So we leave it automatic. Applications. You're going to see all the applications here. What are you going to do here? Well, you can uninstall any application you want. Here you can delete. You're not using it. Delete the application. I do recommend if you planning to use this box just for Cori, delete anything you don't need. Now start downloading games and stuff because this box only has 8 gig and it will fill it up fast. So if the purpose for this is just for use for Cori, then delete any application. You don't need Facebook, you don't need Dropbox, you don't need Gallery, you need none of those things. So I would recommend you to uninstall it, leave it nice and clean. So here I go to my Dropbox and I can clean already there actually. So I can clean it here. I can uninstall it. Okay. Now be aware when you hit clean data, some application you lose all your information okay let's say like the google store if i hit clean it will just do the clean cache but it will not delete the account it will the account will be always there so if you create an account in google play and then you go and sell this box in ebay because you don't want it anymore you're going to have to do a factory reset make sure everything has gone out of the box if you're going to do clean data in Cori. Be aware, you will lose every plugin, every information, every work you did, every scan, every will be all gone. So be sure if you want to do this, it's because you don't want anymore. And can clean data, you want to do it if you want to reset your core. You want to start it again. Okay, I like to do it again. I want to put a new plugin. I want to clean. So you do clean data and you start from fresh without uninstalling and installing the program. So practically that's what it is from here is to uninstall and install programs. No different than any form 511. Here, I got people ask me how I'm gonna reset the box. You reset it here. Here we see the storage, a gigabyte. We hit here. And if I hit one more time, it will reset the fa it will reset it to factory reset. It means if you did download any games, if you got it scores in the games, if you got Cody running, all will be gone. You will have the same box as the day you receive it and you plug it in for the first time. That's the way it's going to look. Okay. So when, why you need to do factory reset. You need to do factory reset when the box is giving problems. It's giving too many problems. It's slow. It's crashing. Or oh, I download too many garbage and I feel like it started again. Normally I do that in my Windows 10. After six, seven months or one year, you start fresh. Okay. This is the way to do it. You do fresh from there. Or if you got any problems, you do it here. But just warning, if you're going to do that, make sure your information is being safe in another location. Okay? About, just about, so we can see it's a T95M. Uh, we're running uh, 511. Day and time. Day and time, the only thing you need to do, go in time. Time zone. And choose your time zone. Okay? When you choose it, it's done. That's the only thing you need to do. 
And in the front of this box, you got the clock. So the clock will be synced automatically to the network, okay? So this is the only got a thing to do. And be aware the clock takes about maybe 30 seconds. When it put up, it takes about 30 seconds to pull the right time. So in the beginning, you're going to see the time is going to be off. No worry, just give it a little bit of time, and then you're going to see the right time on the display. Um, the, that's kind of nice. I like this box. It has the nice display. It show you when it's a uh, wireless connection, Wi-Fi. It's kind of nice. You see booting up at the beginning when the box is start. Give it another look. No different than the rest. Just they make it look a little nicer. What else? Language. We know that. We're going to choose any language from here. Keyboard, I want to play with this, except if you want a different layout of the keyboard or different configuration. That's if you want to choose a language, that's why I choose any language. Okay, you do it from here. I'm going to do that right now. We leave it the way it is. That we leave it. That we're not going to leave it. We're going to leave those things. This is actually, again, this is for the form. If you want text to speech, services, and none, none of this. I don't think anyone used this. This is mostly for the phones, but maybe there's a special occasion somebody's going to be using it. Remote accessories. You leave it the way it is, and nothing to touch there. Locations. Locations are going to pull the location from your network. It's going to check your, your network connection, and it's going to pull it from there. If you want it, you can turn it off in case the big brother is watching. Security and registrations. Yes, here you want to change this. If you're planning to run in applications, they are not from the Google Store. You're going to be downloading yourself, and then you're going to load in, in, um, in a USB drive, and you're going to plug it in. Then you need to switch this on. Okay, by default, it's off. Okay, so you're going to switch this on. The rest, nothing to do. You leave it the way it's as default. Just turn this on in case you want to run any applications off the market. Here you're gonna add your account, okay? So here after you add, you add you're gonna add your accounts. You can add uh, Facebook's account. You can add the uh, Google account. My case, only account I will add will be uh, Google account. Uh, Google account. If you guys did download a uh, app toy, that will be how to add the account or Dropbox, Twitter, whatever. That's an issue. We just go here, boop boop, add all the accounts. It'll be in sync. It. Again, if you're going to use this box for Cori, I want to go through all this. The only thing I will install will be the Google. So that way you can maybe, you know, update Cori or whatever. So this is the only application I will actually be syncing. Nothing else. But if you're going to use for general purposes, then go ahead and fold this up. And what else we got? And that will be it. Then they got, we got more settings. And actually it's the same. And... Here we see Wi-Fi, and here you can uh, see the network. You can turn it off, turn it on. Use data, see airplane mode. We don't care. This is all phone, so we don't even to play around there. Use data. We don't care. You guys are connected to the network, so you don't care. This is all phone. We saw these plates already, sounds and notifications. And here you can get some of the notifications. But this is, yeah. Uh, alarm only if the alarm. I guess the only important one will be this one that you want it all the way in case you, you use your TV to control the volume. If you can use your TV for volume, then you want this all the way up. This no makes no sense. This is only only for like will be a form and the so we don't use none of those things. So you put all that to the maximum. If you're going to use a box, then you can control it from the box the volume. And what else? Location we saw the accounts here again. We reset. We we reset. We back up here with the different. We can. If you have any password, you can back up like the form. You can use Google service to back up. Here we can. Um, uh, oh, reset the personal data, or we can do erase all factory reset. But to turn it on first, here we're gonna we gonna have to turn it on there. And now it's on. And now it's going to sync all the information. Okay. And then here. We can here. Okay. And then time. About. And that's it. Alright guys. So. 
with this we complete the configuration of the T95M if you guys have any questions. If you got the intro of this video, click like. If you think this is going to help your friends or anyone you know, please share my video. It's going to help me to grow and to make more video for the community. Thank you very much and I'll see you guys next time.